Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I'm gonna be telling you guys how to craft unlimited ammo. Not just any kind of ammo, explosive ammo, which is the most powerful firearm ammunition in the game. So it's gonna be so easy to do. And obviously the more you can have of this, the better. So there is only one prerequisite to this, and that is that you have not started the gunslinger mission that you get in the Valentine Saloon by Jim Boy Calloway. Now this will still technically work if you've already completed this, but this is gonna be much easier if you have not done it. Because there's two things that you need in order to craft explosive ammo. The first is a express cartridge, which has to be purchased. And the next thing is animal fat. And animal fat is acquired the easiest through pigs. So it can still technically be done in other ways, but so far this is the only way in which I have seen been posted about this. So if you haven't started that gunslinger mission, you want to, and then you wanna look at the photograph for Emmett Granger. And then you wanna to go to the location marked on the map for him, it'll be a giant EG. Now, to give you a little bit of a description on what happens during this mission, um, he basically tells you to clean out his pig pen, and then he'll tell you a story about the old gunslingers. So instead of cleaning out his pig pen, what you wanna do is actually kill Emmett Granger. Now, by killing Emmett Granger, you're going to obviously cancel the current mission you're on, but what that will allow you to do is kill the three pigs, skin them, and then you can gather their animal fat and craft three explosive rounds. Now, here's where the unlimited part comes in. From there, what you wanna do is get back on your horse and run down the dash road, and the grayed out mission icon with EG will turn back to white. So there is no way to fail this mission if you kill Emmett Granger prematurely. So what you can do from there is return back to Emmett, kill him again, and repeat the process by killing the pigs and crafting explosive rounds. And the reason the pigs infinitely spawn is because they're essential to the mission. He makes either Arthur or John clean out the pig pen before he ultimately gives him the information he wants. Now, probably the biggest complaint that people are gonna have about this is that it's slow. There's only three pigs at a time. You have to kill them, go back, kill them, go back. It does take a little bit of a process. Well, there's nowhere else in the game where you're just going to find a group of 75 pigs to harvest animal fat from. This is definitely the best spot in the game to do it, and in about 15 to 30 minutes, you'll find that you can have about 75 rounds of total explosive ammo. So this is literally the fastest way to craft all explosive ammo, and you can do it in an unlimited fashion because the pigs will be there over and over and over again. You're just gonna need to supply the express cartridges. Now after that, you just want to simply craft the explosive rounds themselves. You also don't need to be on your horse or near your horse to create a crafting camp. You can simply just select the mortar and pestle and you'll be able to craft them from there. So now let's talk about the explosive ammo itself. How does it work and why is it useful? Well, explosive ammunition is compatible with most pistols, revolvers, repeaters, rifles, and sniper rifles. And why does it become the best? Well, out of all firearm ammunition, it provides plus 25 in the damage category and it adds an explosive effect. No other firearm ammunition will give more than plus 25. So it is the absolute best in the game. Now, we're just talking about explosive ammo here. You can also craft some throwables as well that requires animal fat also. So there's three types of throwables that actually require animal fat in order to create. Those three things would be volatile dynamite, which requires dynamite, animal fat, and a high velocity cartridge, a fire bottle, which uh, requires any alcohol and animal fat, and then a volatile fire bottle, which requires moonshine and an animal fat. So technically you can per, uh, create four things with this method, explosive rounds, a volatile dynamite, fire bottle, and volatile fire bottle as well. 
Now you could also use this for a couple of other methods as well. If you're looking for pig hides, this is a way to get endless amounts of that. Same with meat too. You can sell the hides, you can sell the meat, you can use the meat, you can uh, use the hides. So there's definitely a lot of different things that you can do, but by far I would say the best out of this situation is being able to craft unlimited ammo and throwables that requires animal fat, which is gonna be explosive rounds and anything volatile. So. That right there is all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. I know it is a little bit unfortunate that you need to have this mission still available, but I'm assuming a lot of you guys do. And if it's one you've recently done, you could go back to like a different save, craft all the explosive rounds you think you need, and then just continue from there. So I will leave a link to the thread that I found this from in the description. I'll also leave a step-by-step -step tutorial in the description so that if you want to check that out for yourself, you can as well. But like I said, that's all I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That would be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.